So I also teach this university course about the history of technology where students also learn how to use uh, things like spreadsheets. And this semester, some of my students were a little surprised to learn that, well, A, spreadsheets existed before, you know, things like Windows, and <laughs> of course it did. Uh, but B, uh, even a DOS spreadsheet could do everything that we were learning how to do on these modern spreadsheets, just, you know, differently in some cases. And of course it can. I mean, DOS was home to lots of great spreadsheet programs. And so I thought for DOS Sember, I'd show you how to do exactly that. Let's do something on a modern spreadsheet and then we'll do it on a popular DOS spreadsheet. So for this first one, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do a just a grade calculation for a very uh, simple class. Uh, here I've got LibreOffice up and I've got it zoomed in so it should show up well on YouTube. Uh, and the first thing you should notice is that uh, spreadsheets, uh, really modern, any modern spreadsheet uses uh, letters for columns and numbers for rows. And you address each uh, cell in there using a combination of the letter and the number. So this is the upper left left is highlighted with a one and I can use my arrow keys and I can move around the spreadsheet uh, I can also click on it with my mouse and I can click on different cells uh, and let's go ahead and start by uh, entering in a uh, some just some simple grades for a, a very uh, simple class so we'll just type in uh, grades and uh, here just type in grades hit return and then uh, down here we'll go down by one and we'll enter in some column headings. And so we'll say, uh, in this column, we're gonna track the assignments. And then over here, we're gonna track our scores. And then over here, it's the maximum points for each one of those assignments. And so what assignments do we have? Let's say there's a couple of quizzes, a couple of papers, a couple of exams, and a final. And so we'll just type that in. So we'll just say quiz uh, one, uh, we'll do quiz two, uh, quiz three, and then a couple of papers. So we'll say paper one, uh, down here we'll say paper two, and then um, some exams. And so we'll say exam one and exam two, and then the final exam at the end of the, of the semester. So there's our final exam. And so how many points do each one of these assignments have? And so up here we'll say uh, quiz one, uh, each, each quiz we'll say has 10 points. So we'll just do 10, 10, uh, the papers, a little bigger, we'll say 20 points, 20 points. Uh, the exams, a little bigger still, we'll say 30 points in each one of the uh, exams, except the final, which is a bigger one, they'll say that one's 50 points. And then how did we do in each one of these assignments? And so let's say the first one, uh, let's say we, let's, let's just say we plugged in a, a seven. So we did a seven out of 10 on that first quiz. We got a little better on each one. The next one we did an eight, the next one we did a nine. How do we do on the papers? Well, let's let's say the first paper we turned in, uh, we did okay, but you know could do better. So we'll say we'll do a 15, and the next one, a little bit better than that. We'll say like a 17 on the next paper. Uh, the exams. Let's say uh, how we do on the exams. Let's say the first one. Uh, let's go with. Um, Oh, let's, let's do like, uh, like, like, like 25 points for the first one. And then just incremental improvement on the next one, do like 26 points on this next one and the final exam. And so the question I always had as an undergraduate was how hard <laughs> do I really need to study for the final exam? If I still want to get like a certain grade in the course. And so let's just plug in a number here, but we're going to, we're going to modify this. And so if I were to click on that 45 and highlight that in yellow, so this is the number I'm going to change here in a second, just to kind of see how low can that number get and still get like, let's, let's say a B in the class. So here we're going to calculate our uh, sum. We want to add up all of these scores up here uh, for, uh, for the class. And so we're going to, uh, in, in a modern spreadsheet, you typically would start by uh, with an equals that, that tells the spreadsheet we're going to do a calculation. And then you can use uh, a function, for example. And so uh, the function to add up a list of numbers is going to be uh, the sum function. We need an open parenthesis to actually do our function. And uh, we want to we want to uh, do a sum from uh, this cell right here, which is a four, uh, sorry, B4, because you can see we're in column B and that's row four. So that's B4 uh, down to B11. So that's again, column B and then row 11, it's B11. So we're going to do from B4 to B11. We could type that in manually. Uh, 
but it's actually much easier if we just were to just click and drag across this range. And so now I've done B4 colon B11. So on modern spreadsheets, you uh, enter in a range with the first cell and then a colon and then the last cell in the range. And we'll do close parenthesis and that'll finish out my sum calculation. And so that's 152 points if I did 45 points in the final exam. Now I want to do the same thing over here. I want to do the sum for these maximum number of points. And I could just type in another sum calculation, but you know, why? <laughs> Let's let the spreadsheet do the work for me. So if I were to click on this uh, B12 cell, uh, see this little uh, square in the lower right hand corner? If I were to move my mouse over that, I can actually just drag that off to the right. There's this feature called autofill, which will then figure out what it is you're trying to do. If I let go, it says, oh, okay, you're trying to do a sum in this cell. You're trying to do a sum of all these cells above it. And so here, you're just going to try and do a sum of all the cells above that. And so that's why this cell is a sum of C4 to C11. And let's calculate my uh, percentage grade on this. And so how do you do a percentage grade? It's the score that you got at the end of the semester divided by the uh, maximum uh, possible points. And so we'll start with an equal. That's a calculation. And then the cell that we have our 152 in is actually cell B12. And so I'll just type in B12 and then slash to divide slash divided by and then C12. And so now I've got 84.44% in that class. And so let's go ahead and click on this and we'll make it a percentage number. And uh, let's let's make it bold just so we can kind of see it. So we can bold. All right. And so um, the question that I have is how low can I go on this final exam and still get an 80.00% uh, at the end of the semester. And I would do this kind of calculation before every final exam when I was an undergraduate. And so let's just type in some numbers. Let's say, uh, let's do like 40 points. Uh, needs to be lower than that. And so let's go ahead and say uh, that'll be uh, 38 points. Ooh, almost there. So we'll say that's 37 points. And there we go, 80.00%. And if I did in fact 36 points, uh, we're below 80.00. So I know that if I want to still get a B minus in the class or better, I need to get 37 points. All right. So uh, can we do this on a DOS spreadsheet? Well, absolutely you can. Uh, lots of DOS spreadsheets uh, to pick from. Let's let's use Quattro Pro. And I picked Quattro Pro because it's it's got a what's called a, a WYSIWYG interface. What you see is what you get is what that stands for. So we'll just do Q. That'll bring up Quattro Pro. Quattro Pro is a very popular spreadsheet started around mid 1990s. Uh, it started to displace Lotus 123, which was the powerhouse for most of the 80s and 90s uh, into the early 90s. Uh, but Windows kind of displaced, uh, uh, you know, DOS spreadsheets around that time anyway, because Windows 95 came out in 1995. Uh, but it it is a very nice looking spreadsheet. Uh, now let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, enter in our values. And so what we did here again, you can see that uh, letters for columns and numbers for rows, and the cells are referenced in the same way. A one, for example, and I can use the cursor keys on my keyboard to move my uh, cursor around to highlight different cells. And so let's type in here uh, grades. Now uh, the nice thing about Quattro Pro is because it's WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. You actually can support fonts as well. And so you notice I have my cursor down a little bit. That's uh, showing up in, again, kind of a low resolution, but it's that's, uh, that's we're seeing the word grades. Uh, we also wanted to type in uh, the assignments. This is a column header. Assignments uh, down here, we'll do the scores. Uh, and then we had the maximum number of points for each assignment. And we had a couple of quizzes. And so we had three quizzes. So we'll just say, uh, say quiz one, uh, quiz two, and quiz three. We also had two papers, paper, oops, uh, paper one uh, and paper two. And then we had two exams. So we'll say exam one and exam two. And then the final exam at the end of the semester. So we'll say final exam. All right, and so what were our max points? Uh, you could use a mouse in this, but I've turned off the mouse. I just find that uh, using the keyboard for a spreadsheet, I just for me, it's more natural. Uh, but that's why you're not seeing me use a mouse on a DOS spreadsheet. Uh, and we said that for each of the quizzes, we had 10 points. And so we'll do 10, 10, 
10. And then the papers, we said those were 20 points, 20, 20. The exams were a little bigger still at 30 points each for the exams, except the final was going to be 50 points. And then we typed in uh, our scores up here. And so uh, we did a, a seven points for the first quiz, eight and then nine. Uh, I'm, I'm referencing the other spreadsheet uh, as I type these in. I uh, just so we get the same numbers. And so we had 15 uh, and then 17 points for the two papers. And then we had 25, then incrementally a little bit bigger, 26 for the two exams. And the final exam, we said, okay, how, how low can we go on the final exam as we go into it? And so I just typed in 45 just to have a number in there. And I also, in, in the modern spreadsheet, highlighted that, which you can absolutely do, by the way, in a DOS spreadsheet. Uh, Quattro Pro, because it's running in uh, WYSIWYG mode, lets you adjust fonts, uh, styling, things like that, including background color. So we'll do slash. That brings up the menu, slash. And then there it is, highlighting on file. We'll go over to style, hit return there. And then we'll just, we want to do uh, shading behind here. So we're going to make that a yellow background. So we'll hit return on shading. And I'm going to do a colored. And then uh, what what block do I want to do? So right here, we're on B11, B11. So that's the one cell. I'll just hit return on that. And now we go ahead and select a color. So I'm going to move my cursor down to the yellow. And now I've got uh, bright yellow. Same as I had done uh, before in the modern spreadsheet. Let's do my uh, my total number of points here, by the way. So um, in the modern spreadsheet, we started calculations with an equal. With DOS spreadsheets, you typically would start uh, would enter in either text or a number. And so a number can look like um, a plot. It can start with a number or it can start with a plus or a minus. Uh, you can also start with a function. And functions in DOS spreadsheets typically started with an at sign. And so instead of equals sum, we're going to type at sum and then open parenthesis. And I want to start this at uh, B4 and then go down to B11. And I could type that in, but uh, DOS spreadsheets also supported, uh, you know, once we've typed in uh, at sum and then open parenthesis, we can actually move our cursor around. So I'll just move my cursor up uh, to B4. And in modern spreadsheets, we use a colon to uh, to enter in uh, to, between the two cell ranges or cell, uh, cell start and end uh, for the ranges. And so we would do B4 colon B11. But in DOS spreadsheets, you actually use dot dot for most of them. And so we do dot dot here. And then we just move our cursor down to find the end of our range. And so there we go, B4 to B11. And I'll do close parenthesis and hit return. And so there's my 152 points. Do the same thing over here, except I don't want to type that in, right? Let's let the spreadsheet do the work. And so instead of using autofill, the concept was copy. And we'll do slash. I'm going to go over to edit. And then we'll do copy. And I want to copy the cell that I'm on right now. So let's hit return. And then over here, the destination for the cells will be in C12. We'll hit return there. And there we go, 180. And then down here, I wanted to calculate my percentage grade for the course. So uh, the uh, uh, you need to type in either text or a number. And if you want to make it a number for a calculation, uh, if you're not going to be using an at, uh, you actually need to start with either a plus or a minus. And so I'm going to do a plus and then the cell references. And so B12 was my sum, B12, divided by... Uh, C12. And so that is a calculation that we've entered and it's 0. 0.4, uh, 0. 0.8444 repeating. Let's make that look like a uh, percentage. So we'll do slash to go up the menu and we'll do style and we'll choose our numeric format. And then we'll go down here to say percent. And how many decimal places do we want? In the modern spreadsheet, it was two decimal places. So we'll just hit return there for two decimal places. And what block do I want? The cell that I'm on. So I'll just hit return. And now it's got 84.44%. In the other spreadsheet, the modern spreadsheet, I made that bold. So let's do the same thing here. So do slash and go into style. And then we'll uh, we'll adjust the font and in that cell. And then we'll make that bold. And there we go. Went out of that menu. And now I've got bold text for 84.44%. And so then the question was, how low can I go on this final exam and still get an 80.00% for the final score? So uh, we went started down by going to 40, and then uh, we did down to 38. 
and then we also explored 37 and that was what gave us 80.00 percent and so that's the lowest that i can go on this final exam and still get a b minus in the class by the way changing one cell uh, to see what happens in another cell, the, the fancy phrase for that is called what if analysis. There's also another concept called goal seeking. Uh, but if you're just typing in numbers to see what happens somewhere else, it's actually called what if analysis. There actually is a name for it. So anyway, uh, now I've determined that 37 is the lowest uh, score I need to get in my final exam to still get at least a B minus in the class. And so let's go ahead and save that. So we'll do slash and then file and I'll go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to, uh, let's, let's back up here and call this uh, grades.wq2. WQ2 is the extension that Quattro Pro typically used. And so uh, let's go ahead and uh, overwrite that file because I've already uh, did an experiment with this. Uh, and so now we'll go ahead and, uh, and exit the program, slash, and then file, and then go down to exit. And let's go ahead and shut down my instance. And so what's what's neat about this is how do I get my files out? Uh, and so what you need to do in uh, in in Linux. So I'm using uh, QEMU as my virtual machine, uh, and in Linux I can uh, use my file manager. And here I've got my uh, image file. This is my hard drive image that I use for my spreadsheet demos. Uh, and if I right click on that or just double click it, but if I right click it, I can go open with a disk image mounter. And then over here, it's now mounted my spreadsheet disk. And if I click on that, I can look inside it and there is my grades.wq2. And if I just click and drag that into LibreOffice, it's gonna say, all right, let's import a Quattro profile. And will say, okay. And then there it is. This is my Quattro profile. Uh, it uh, it kept all my formatting, my bold, my uh, my, my yellow background, uh, and so this is just an example that not only can you do the same stuff in, in modern spreadsheets, but using DOS spreadsheets, there's also ways to get that data out again. So uh, that is how you can uh, use a DOS spreadsheet kind of like a modern spreadsheet. I'll do other videos as well that kind of along the same theme. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I want to uh, thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. Some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I want to thank you especially here for that. So thank you very much. Support us uh, by going to our website, freedos.org. Uh, join us on Facebook. Follow us on Mastodon. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.